it's Tuesday afternoon and all is well. This morning, believe it or not, I rebuilt the forward toilet because it was playing up. It was actually all okay, but the little rubber impeller was jamming against its housing. So I put a spacer in there and it's all good now. That's the third time I've taken that apart, so hopefully that's it for the toilet. No more toilet stuff. But this afternoon's job is Ooh, our new compass. So I've already mounted the base for it, lined it up front to back with the boat, and now I'll put the compass in, and then we will have to adjust it. We'll adjust it when we're out and about. Um, I'll get it roughly right, but fine tuning will have to be done later. Now you can pay for someone to do that, but I think that I will be able to do it. But for now, we'll put it in and just get it roughly right. I've pre-wired it already so it should be just plug and play for the light if I can get my hands in there oh no oh no I've made a mistake that's a bad one made an error. Take two. Try again. off even the magnetism from the screwdriver affects it All done so we'll have a go at that tomorrow just to get it roughly right today's job if you can guess is rebuild the winches yesterday I did a few we've got all together nine winches on the boat and I did a few of them at the back here and I've got about another six to go so I've taken one off it's only a little one I'm going to wash it down. I've got some fuel in there, unleaded, to wash it all up. Wash it down, clean the bearings, check it all, make sure it's all good. Grease it, put it back together. Oil the ratchet, the little pulls on it. And we should be good to go with that. And I've got to do that another six times. So... That's for today. That'll take the whole day at least and hopefully I can get them finished. Hopefully. We'll see how we go. I get all the hard jobs. <laughs> So again, you're just applying what you know from other stuff to what you're doing here, is that right? Yeah, just fixing it. But you know nothing about this stuff? No, but it's mechanical. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. You can just work it out. Yeah, okay. If you're a mechanical person. If you're not, you're in trouble. But that's like, <laughs> I don't know, an orthodontist thinking he can do a boob job. No, <laughs> it's an orthodontist doing teeth. <laughs>
Got a bit of an issue that I cannot undo some screws to get one of the winches off. So we got the big guns out, the screw undoer. So if you haven't seen this before, you'll see it soon. Whoa, that's bad. Still not coming. I don't understand how it actually is helping. And who says brute force doesn't solve problems? Oh yeah. If you like our content and think we're okay, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing helps us and commenting helps us even more within YouTube. So if you want us to continue, please subscribe. I've got a few jobs on today and already completed one, which was finishing off the winches from yesterday. So I stuck the last winch on. I had to repaint the mount and uh, undercoat it and all that because it was a bit of corrosion, but that's all been fixed now. Second job for today is to fix the sea strainer. You can see in there there's a lot of stuff I'm not sure but the problem is I can't pull it out there's no handle or anything around here to pull out the actual strainer so you can clean it so somehow I've got to get it out hopefully and then I've got to put some handle across there so I can remove it in the future I've already put a penetrine around the edge here to try and help release it but I don't know. I've tried to pull it out once before and I couldn't get it out. But I've got more time to spend now, so I'm going to try and get it out. So that's the main job for today. As well as the um, freezer has got a leak in the air conditioning system. And the fridge mechanic should be here today to do that. But they did say he was going to arrive about, well, who knows, he started work at seven and they said that he was coming straight here so what can you say you'd hope that uh tradesmen if they're more than a little bit late would ring you and say listen mate i'm running late which you can expect because they've got all sorts of jobs and things happening 
that's not the problem. The problem is they can't even pick up a bloody phone and ring you and say, mate, I'm going to be late or I can't make it today or tomorrow, but who knows? When I was a tradesman and a project manager, that's the sort of thing we did. But never mind, we'll see what happens. We'll let you know when he gets here. But for now, on with the sea strainer. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to work on it. Right, so I've got my trusty lunchbox and I'm going to fish out some of the garbage in here with me little hook or me grabber. Might make it rusty, but anyway. The fridge mechanic's been, which is great. He's uh, welded or soldered our leaking fridge and he's just backing it down at the moment with the vacuum pump so that they can regas it. So that's going to be going for some time, which is unfortunate because I'm working here. But anyway, uh, what I've thought to do to get my strainer out is to use a turnbuckle. Because as you turn the centerpiece, the, the two outside ends either come together or move apart. So I can put that in, turn it, and these should clamp out into the basket and then I can lift it up. But that's what I'm thinking. So I've filed points on either end so they can fit through the strainer holes, through the basket. I'm going to try and put it in. Screw it out so it expands and locks into there and then I can hopefully lift it out. But who knows whether that's going to work, but I'm going to give it a go. Worst thing is if I drop it. Maybe I'll put a bit of string on it first. That's a good idea. Then I won't drop it, hey? Maybe it screws out and I've been trying to pull it against the thread. Maybe I'll try and unscrew it. Jesus. Oops, that's not good. That does not look very good in there, does it? I'm gonna have to destroy it like I am. That does not look too good.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you want a reminder, hit the bell. And remember, we always love a thumbs up.